Philadelphia Strawberry Mansion High School, ranked in the top five most dangerous in the country for 62 consecutive years. Until one woman showed her students that going to class can save your life. Your hand is your hand. That's the hand you were dealt. But that still is not an excuse for not coming to school. Who is this modern hero? My name is Linda Clyatt Wayman, and this is my story. and her two sisters were raised in a poor, crime-ridden North Philadelphia neighborhood by a single mother who emphasized education. My mother was part of the working poor. She was a clerk. My mother was never on welfare. She was trying to raise three girls on her own. And my mother always told me, you can do and be whatever you want to do and be, but you're going to have to work hard at it. Linda overcame overwhelming odds to achieve her goals. She earned a master's degree and spent 20 years teaching special ed. Eventually, she became the assistant superintendent to 52 of Philly's public schools and faced the impossible when three of the city's most at-risk institutions were forced to merge. You were given the task to find the principal. Correct. You searched nationwide. Couldn't find him. And I get this voice in my head, you go. And I said it again to myself, you go. What do you mean you go? I said, this I'm supposed to go? But it was an out there idea. It was an out I there mean, idea. Assistant superintendent yes. going to the most dangerous school, yeah. one of the most in the country, yeah. on the persistently dangerous list for five years straight. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to go do that. Yeah, what I thought of was just those children. I had my eye on the children the entire time. Philadelphia has a deep poverty rate of 30%, the highest in the country. And the crime rate in Strawberry Mansion is 102% higher than the national average. And people don't understand this life. This life is a difficult life for children who have to live in poverty and be adults before their children. The school was notoriously violent. So the first thing that I had to do was come in and say, okay, what are we going to do first to make sure these kids don't hurt each other in this building? Were you afraid on the inside? Really? Never, no was not afraid. Now, was my entire staff afraid? Absolutely. But I wasn't afraid at all. To the one day the kid said, you need a motherfucking bullet in your head. Excuse my language. I'm gonna put a motherfucking bullet in your head. That was the first time that I woke up and said, Linda, I don't, I don't know what you've done here. Because your kids are going to be without a mother. And that scared me to death. Linda put on a brave face and got to work, enforcing rules like no weapons, no drugs, and no violence. But it wasn't until the school's anti-violence assembly that Linda realized just how dire life was for these kids. It's just showing this video mm -hmm. of the Columbine situation. And the auditorium erupts into laughter. And these kids were violently shooting people. And so when it was over, I said, I want to meet with some people. Right. Can you please tell me why you're laughing? That ain't nothing compared to what we see. Nothing compared to what we see and what we witness. And they started telling me all these horrendous stories that happened to them of death and murder and, and kidnappings and shootings. And I'm thinking, oh my God. Did that change your mindset? Absolutely. It, it, it completely changed how I saw everything here. I no longer focused on the violence and rules and regulations I still knew I had to have in place, but I went right to, okay, we gotta provide some hope in here. This school, we have to find ways to show them glimmers of hope. We're missing some things here. She started by implementing things that many students take for granted, like school dances and field trips. And each morning, Linda makes the same announcement so the kids know she's always in their corner. If nobody didn't tell you, they loved you today. You remember I do, and I always will. Her message of love has given her students hope for a brighter future. Because when you hear kids talk about college, and you hear kids talk about their exit plans and what they're going to do when they leave here, you, you just can't believe it. Now, 
Sometimes do they fulfill all of them? No. But they have them. But they, they want to. But they want, thank you, Reed. They want to. People are going to tell you sometimes that you're nothing. People are going to tell you you can't get up, and you're going to say, yes, I can. And if nobody else expects for you to do so, I expect for you to do so. And sometimes these kids need somebody just to expect for them to do better. This isn't a job. No. This is your life. This is my life. I just believe it's my calling. And I believe my whole life journey is for me to try to help them the best that I can. I truly believe that. Five years after entering Strawberry Mansion, the school is no longer on the persistently dangerous list. Test scores and graduation rates are up, and Linda conquered everything she set out to do. She didn't just save a school, she saved a community. What have you learned about yourself through this process? That I actually have gifts to offer the world. I, I just set out to try to change the school. Linda has been awarded for her efforts and recognized for defying the odds. She shares the lessons that she's learned by speaking at conferences across the country in front of thousands of people. Now she's about to embark on a new journey outside the walls of Strawberry Mansion. I needed to come to Strawberry Mansion and I need to get all of what I endured here to really go out and help thousands of children that's in this situation. We cannot use this situation as pity parties, but mm -hmm. we have to push them towards a better life. Your voice is your gift. You got it, Dean. And I believe I'm the voice for the voiceless. So you don't know what's next for you yet? I have no idea, but I'm just gonna walk. I leave here not under my own power. I don't have the strength to leave here. Mm. I do not have the strength to walk out of Strawberry Mansion on my own. It's gonna be the hardest thing I do because God told me it's time. That's why I must go. Linda is making a difference for kids. How can you? Follow Modern Hero TV on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.